Hello and welcome to another episode of the Simple Farmhouse. It's been a little while and there's been some changes around here. The sunflowers are bending their head to the autumn sun and I now only have two homeschoolers left. The room where we've had so many homeschool memories together has now turned into coffee shop homeschool and homeschooling by themselves in their room, doing work independently. I will cherish every memory we've spent in this room together as they were growing up and all the changes that the room itself went through. There is one other change that happened in the last year, and that's this little nugget. She's quite the cutie, but don't be fooled. She's a menace too, because she ate the entire room. bookcase, the window sills, the chairs, the table. She took pieces of it all. It's okay though. I'm going to reimagine this room and make it a cozy dining space for our family where we can lounge, eat together, and make coffee in the morning. I've really been drawn to these darker, moodier colors that have a touch of English cottage to them. And so I'm going to do the fixes with a joyful heart and see what we can come up with. I started with the minor fixes in the bookcase and on the table legs using plastic wood. It was very easy to work with. I just went back and filled in and shaped the places that were now missing. It went on pink and dried this color. When it was dry, I sanded it a little bit smoother and a little more shaped, and then came back and painted the base of the table this slightly darker color, French gray. It's a farrow and ball color that I had mixed in Sherwin-Williams paint. And I think I did a pretty good job remolding the base of the table. As I was doing little fixes around the room, I was also collecting antiques. I came across this sweet dresser with leaf handles and a marble top, and I thought it would make the perfect coffee station. It just wasn't singing against the white, and so it was time to pick a color. I landed on card room green, another pharaoh and ball color, mixed in Sherwin-Williams paint, and the second I began painting it, the room came to life. It felt cozier and it felt right. The tabletop also needed to be sanded back so that I could fix those corners that the puppy had chewed. I simply sanded off the polycrylic that had been on there from years earlier, and I rounded the edges as best I could. Not all of them could be done perfectly, but I think the places where it couldn't be, I smoothed it as best I could, and it looks a little antique, and that's perfect for the theme of the room. Instead of going back with the polycrylic, as I did the first time I refinished this table, I'm going with an oil-based poly. I think it will be stronger and better suited for the way we use this table. And it'll also add a touch of warmth to the wood top since I won't be staining it. As the table dried, I worked on some additional trim for the tops of the windows and doors. This is a really simple way to add some depth and some character to your current molding without having to tear anything out. It's two one by twos and a one by four, assembled first, then attached to the wall. I think it adds some nice height to the room and a little more drama. Eventually, I would also like to add some trim, some crown molding around the top of the room. I think it just helps to blend that pop of color into the white and it looks very English. But for now, I'm gonna work on adding some cozier elements to the space and save that for phase two. These pair of sconces came from Amazon with rechargeable bulbs and a remote so you can control how warm, how cool, and how bright they are. I'm going to put them in the window seat here just to make it extra cozy and have a little moment. After hanging them, I think that I would like to look for a different shade, maybe one that has a pattern on it that feels a little more English. I do need some shades here, and I should note that that leather chair came from Facebook Marketplace. So did this mirror, and I will show you the full reveal of that in my next video. But this little dresser is much happier now in its new color surroundings. I think it just sings so much more than it did before. I can't wait to add a DIY marble shelf where I'll store our mugs 
a sconce, some art around the room. We do need some window coverings and a few other details to pull this together. If you would like to see how the whole room comes together, hit that subscribe button, tap the bell to receive notifications, and stay tuned. I can't wait to see how it comes together too. It's definitely been a season of changes over here. I don't know that I'm always ready for them, but I'm along for the ride and I'm soaking up as many moments as I possibly can. Until next time.